Hey, what's up everybody? Let's talk about techniques to preprocess data. First of all, we need to preprocess data because it is noisy. It has a lot of missing data, it has outliers, and it doesn't have a format suitable for models. There are two main tasks that sometimes we split the preprocessing data. It is the data cleaning and the data transformation. Let's start with the data cleaning. And before starting, consider smash the like button if you are enjoying this type of content so I can have your feedback. The first technique for data cleaning is handling missing data. Sometimes a lot of datasets have variables with a lot of missing data and we need to take action because missing data it's not allowed for a lot of type of models and even for data analysis. For that reason we need to do something about it. We can fill the missing data with a constant, we can use also the mode and the mean or even use a random value from the known or observed distribution within the data set. Another technique of data cleaning is identifying misclassifications and this is a very simple one. Imagine that you have a variable with the different countries that are in the data set and imagine that you have US and USA. Those two values mean the same thing and with examples like that we need to change the data in order to have it correctly. Another technique is to identify outliers. Outliers are data points that are near the extreme limits of your data distribution. And besides outliers being good or bad data, the truth is that for some statistical models it is really bad. It has an awful impact on the outcomes of those models. And that's the reason why we need to identify them and then clear them, get rid of them. Quick note, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Now let's talk about data transformation. The first technique is normalization. A dataset might have variables that have different range of values. So imagine that you have a variable between 0 and 10 and another variable between 0 and 1 million. And that's not good for quite a few models. So we need to normalize this range in order to have better outcomes. And for that we can use min max normalization or z-score normalization. Then we have normality. For some algorithms, the algorithms require that the data is normally distributed in order to have also better outcomes. And for that reason, we normally use common techniques such like natural log transformation. Check out normal distribution. It's a very important topic for statistics and data science. Then we also have the flag variables or dummy variables. These variables are very useful for some data science methods that require a numerical target. And these flags can be 0 and 1. This is a lot of useful also to convert categorical data into numerical data. Imagine a categorical variable that is paid or not paid and it can become 0 and 1. Another example is, for example, female and male, it can also be 1 and 0. Then there is also another technique for binding numerical variables. And this technique is useful because also some algorithms or some for some data analysis, it is useful to have numerical values within bins. This is within a range, instead of continuous values. For example, instead of having 1,000 or 10,000 salaries, you can also have 10 range of salaries and that's a big difference for some algorithms. Now another technique, reclassifying categorical variables. This is also from the previous reason. Some algorithms work better with a fewer values. And for that reason, imagine this example. Instead of having 100, 200 countries, you have only five continents. Another simple technique is to remove variables that are not useful. For example, sometimes when we extract data, we have variables that has always the same value. They are unary. And for that case, it is a simple way to transform your data set and have more meaningful data. Then we also have to consider variables that should not be removed. For example, imagine that you have a variable with donations. And for that case, you have 90% of missing values. Those 90% might mean that they donated zero. So instead of deleting all the variable because it has 90% of missing values, it might be useful to use zero instead of deleting it. Then it's also important to remove the duplicated records. Imagine that you have a data set with unique IDs, so we cannot have two entries. And for that reason, you need to understand if there are duplicates and if there is, you need to understand which ones should be removed. Then we have dimension reducing. Sometimes too much variables doesn't really mean better model results and better model performance. And that's why we often use the principal component analysis, the PCA, to reduce the dimensionality of the dataset while preserving as much variability as possible. So guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It helps a lot the channel. You are giving an explicit feedback to the YouTube recommendation algorithm. 
and that's great to support the channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.